and welcome to the course on the CFD analysis of the NREL phase 6 wind turbine. The NREL stands for the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. This is the laboratory of the US Department of Energy. And uh, phase 6, this, these are some different versions of the wind turbine blades developed by the NREL and they named as a phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. And the phase 6 is the most famous wind turbine and it's a most widely used for the CFD validation as a CFD validation case. Wind turbines are most important part of the, our new renewable energy sources. And uh, why we are moving to renewable energies? Because the first thing is that the fossil fuels, they are depleting at the very fast speed. And number two is that the usage of uh, fossil fuels they, that produces the lot of green gases and in turn the green gases will produce the high temperature rise globally and that is the reason that we are trying to cut down the usage of the fossil fuels and therefore we are turning towards the, the renewable energies like the solar energy, geothermal, the wave energy and the wind energy and the wind energy is the one of the most important part of the that energy mix. And whenever you want to design any wind turbine, so definitely there are the few techniques which we can apply to see if the design is working properly or not. One is that you can use that design and build a model and test it in the, in the wind tunnel. And second technique which is the latest technique in the world and it is growing uh, in the popularity for the couple of decades is the CFD or the computational fluid dynamics. So this, this course we are going to use the second technique which is the CFD or the computational fluid dynamics. Okay, so for this course, the course contents are these ones and the main reference which we are going to use is, is from the NREL website and uh, this is about the, the specific turbine design which is the NREL phase 6 and from this source you can find out the geometry, you can find out the all the details, you can find out the test setup, you can find out the from where you can get the exact data for the each and every configuration. So there are the multiple configurations for NR NREL phase 6 and if you go through this uh, report you will see that the, how many dif are different configurations are there and we are going to only study one specific configuration and also we will cover the wind turbine theory like the kinetic energy of the incoming wind, the best limit, the velocity triangles, twist and pitch angle of a turbine blade, the torque, power, power coefficient and the optimum power coefficient and the tip speed ratio. And then I will give you the brief description about the test case we are going to use in this uh, course. And these are some brief steps for the, this course. So first we model the geometry of the NREL phase 6 wind turbine in the solid works. And then we will make the hybrid meshing that is a combination of tetra and prism meshing in the ICM CFD. And we discuss about the important things in the meshing so that we can get the accurate results. So that, that contains the important areas of the wind turbine, how to mesh them, how to refine them, how to create the mesh or the prism layers in the boundary layer, uh, what should be the first cell height, what should be the Y plus values according to the, the turbulence model we are going to use. So these all things will be covered in the meshing part. And then we will be making the simulation setup like the boundary definition, solo setting, turbulence model like that and then running solution in the fluent and then after solving the case we will be post processing results in the CFD post or then in the fluent and then finally we are going to validate our results with the excellent data which we get from the NREL report. 